Lesson 16 homework. Solve using tape diagrams. A gardener installed 42 and 6 tenths meters of fencing in a week. He installed 13 and 45 hundredths meters on Wednesday and 9 and 5 tenths meters on Tuesday. He installed the rest of the fence in equal lengths on Wednesday through Friday. How many meters of fencing did he install on each of the last three days? So I'm going to start by drawing the tape diagram. And since he worked on it Monday through Friday, that's five days, I'm going to split my tape diagram into five days. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So on Monday, he installed 13 and 45 hundredths meters. On Tuesday, he installed 9 and 5 tenths meters. And then in equal lengths on Wednesday through Friday. So plus, we don't know, those three days would all equal 42 and 6 tenths meters. So in order to figure out what Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are, we need to figure out how much we have left to work with. So I'm going to start by adding Monday and Tuesday together. 13 and 45 hundredths plus 9 and 5 tenths. 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 5 is 9, 3 plus 9 is 12, carry my 1. Bring my decimal point straight down and I get 22 and 95 hundredths. Now to figure out what's left, I'm going to subtract our total, 42 and 6 tenths, minus what we already know we've used, 22 and 95 hundredths. 0 minus 5, we can't do it. Borrow from the 6, make it a 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 9, again, we can't do that and I need to borrow. That becomes 15 minus 9, which is 6. 1 minus 2, can't do it again. Get a borrow, make that a 3. This becomes 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 19 and 65 hundredths meters left. That's split evenly between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that is three days that are evenly split between 19 and 65 hundredths meters. So I'm going to divide. 19 and 65 hundredths divided by 3 days. 3 can't go into 1. 3 goes into 19. 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. We subtract. have 1 left over. Bring down the 6. 3 goes into 16 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15. If we subtract, we get 1. Bring down the 5. 3 goes into five, 15 5 times, 5 times 3 is 15, nothing left over and nothing to bring down, so our final step is to bring the decimal point straight up and we get 6 and 55 hundredths meters. So Wednesday would be 6 and 55 hundredths meters, and Thursday would be 6 and 55 hundredths meters, and Friday would be 6 and 55 hundredths meters, and all of those should add up to be 42 and 6 tenths meters. So our final answer six and 55 hundredths meters. Jenny charges $9.15 an hour to babysit toddlers and $7.45 an hour to babysit school-age children. If Jenny babysat toddlers for nine hours and school-age children for six hours, how much money did she earn in all? They want us to use a tape diagram, so. Let's see, she spent a little more time with toddlers, so I'll make that section a little bit bigger nine hours with toddlers and she charged nine dollars and fifteen cents so we're gonna have to do nine dollars and fifteen cents times nine plus however much she spent with the school age children seven dollars and forty five cents an hour for six hours so seven dollars and forty five cents times six okay so i'm going to start with 9 and 15 hundredths times 9. So we'll break it down like we were doing earlier. So we have 9 ones times 9 plus 1 tenth times 9 plus 5 hundredths times nine. So we'll end up with 81 ones plus nine 
tenths plus 45 hundredths. Now, if we added all these together, what we see is there's 45 hundredths, which means that the 4 is actually 4 tenths, and we're going to move that over here. So this becomes 13 tenths, and then again, that's two digits, and we can't work with that, so we're going to make it 3 tenths, and this 1 is going to move over here and make it 82 ones. So we end up with 82 ones and 3 tenths and 5 hundredths. Okay, then for the school age children, she had 7 and 45 hundredths. Oops. 7 and 45 hundredths times 6. So we have 7 ones times 6 plus 4 tenths times 6 plus 5 hundredths times 6. So 7 ones times 6, that's 42 ones plus 4 tenths times 6. That is 24 tenths plus 5 hundredths times 6, that's 30 hundredths. Okay, now we know 30 hundredths is actually 3 tenths, so I'm just going to add 3 tenths over here. So we end up with 27 tenths. And 27 tenths is 2 and 7 tenths two holes in seven tenths, so I'm going to take the two and move it over here. So we end up with 44 ones and seven tenths. And then no hundredths because the 30 hundredths just translated over to three tenths. So our final step, we need to see how much she got all together. So she had $82.35 plus $44.70. And seven, so $82.35 plus $44.70. So she made $127.05. Okay, part B. Jenny wants to earn $1,300 by the end of summer. How much more will she need to earn to meet her goal? So she wants to make the whole thing. She wants all of this to add up to $1,300. But so far, she's only made $127.00 and five cents. So we need to know what this part is. In order to do that, we are going to subtract. So let's do 1,300. I'm going to make it have a decimal point so that we can subtract $127.05. Now we can't do zero minus five. I can't borrow from this zero, and I can't borrow from the next zero, and I can't borrow from the next zero. So finally, I can take from the three, make it a two, that becomes a 10, but I need to bring it all the way down here. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. And 2 minus 1 is or seven, 2 minus 1 is 1. And we have 1 left over. So she needs to make $1,172.95. Number three, a table and eight chairs weigh 235 and 68 hundredths pounds together. If the table weighs 157 and 84 hundredths pounds, what is the weight of one chair in pounds? All right, so starting with our tape diagram. So we have a table that weighs 157 and 84 hundredths, so more than half of the total. So the table is 235. Oops, is 157. Let me get rid of that. 157 and 84 hundredths pounds, and then there are eight chairs that are all equal. So I'm going to split this into eight equal pieces. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight pieces. So eight chairs, 
and the all the whole thing is equal to 235 pounds 235 and 6800 pounds so I'm going to subtract what we already know that we have so that I can figure out what the total of the eight chairs weighs. So we have 235 and 68 hundredths minus 157 and 84 hundredths. Eight minus four is four. We can't do six minus eight, so borrow. 16 minus eight is eight. Four minus seven, we can't do that. 14 minus seven is seven. 2 minus 5, can't do that. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So bring our decimal point straight down. So there's 77 and 84 hundredths pounds left between the eight chairs. So I need to take the 77 and 84 hundredths and split them evenly. So divide. Actually, I'm going to move it over here so I have more room to divide. So 77 and 84 hundredths divided by 8. 8 can't go into 7, but 8 can go into 77 uh, about 9 times. 9 times 8 is 72. We subtract, I get 5, bring down the 8. 8 can go into 58. Let's see, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56. So 7 times, if I subtract, Bring down the 4. 8 goes into 24 3 times. 8 times 3 is 24. No remainder, nothing left to bring down. Just bring our decimal point straight up. So each chair weighs 9 and 73 hundredths pounds. Number 4. Mrs. Cleaver mixes 1 and 24 hundredths liters of red paint with 3 times as much blue paint to make purple paint. She pours the paint equally into 5 containers. How much blue paint is in each container? Give your answer in liters. All right, I'm gonna draw my tape diagram. So we have one and 24 hundreds liters, and that is red paint. And then there's three times as much blue paint. So this is all blue paint, right? And there's also one and 24 hundreds liters there, and one and 24 hundreds liters there, and one and 24 hundreds liters there, because it's three times as great as the red paint. So we can either add one and 24 hundredths three times, or we could do one and 24 hundredths times three. Um, I am going to just do one and 24 hundredths times three. So we have. 1 1 times 3 plus 2 tenths times 3 plus 4 hundredths times 3. And we get 3 ones plus 6 tenths plus 12 hundredths. Remember, we, this can't have two digits, so it's actually, that turns into one and two, it's twelve hundredths, which is one tenth and two hundredths, so I'm going to move the one over here and make that seven tenths, and this is just going to be two hundredths. So we have three and seventy-two hundredths. Now, sh she wants to know if she pours that into five equal containers, how much blue paint will be in each container. So this is the amount of blue paint, but we need to separate it into five equal containers. So I'm gonna do three and 72 hundredths divided by five. So three can't go into five, or five can't go into three, but five can go into 37 about, let's see, six times, maybe seven times, five times seven is 35. So we get two, bring down the two. Five goes into 22 four times. Four times five is 20. Subtract. Well, we have a remainder, so I'm gonna keep going. I'll add a zero and bring it down. Five goes into 20 four times. Four times five is 20. No remainder. All that's left to do is bring our decimal point straight up. So we get 744 thousandths liters. 744 thousandths liters of blue paint in each container.